If in doubt, you can follow these five steps, which are extra cautious, which is I prefer to do, but always follow the manufacturer's procedures over anything you hear in any aftermarket training class. But number one would obviously be to turn the key off. I don't care if it's a hybrid or a non-hybrid, you wanna get the vehicle powered down first before you do any service. So the key, turn to the off position, or on smart key systems like in a Prius or a Lexus, Nissan, hit the power button and get the dash dark. That's your first step. The second step is to disconnect the 12 volt battery. Now that's not required by most OEs, it's my personal added layer protection because I know once the system's powered down, now there's no DC to DC converter working, the engine's off, there's no action going on. Now if I take the 12 volt battery cable off, the negative, what will happen is that source of 12 volts is responsible for allowing the contactors or relays inside the battery pack to turn on and close and ascend high voltage with high current up to the front of the vehicle from the battery pack. That's not gonna happen because the 12 volt cables have gone, has been disconnected. So on vehicles with smart keys where there may be a fob like in the console that nobody knows about, a service rider slides across the seat, puts their foot on the brake and pushes that power button which is the procedure like on a Prius to get it to power up in what's called the ready mode and that's when high voltage comes online i don't want that happening so i take the 12 volt battery cable off so mistakes like that can occur the third step is to remove the service plug or in the case of hondas flip the service switch off it may be called a service grip or a service disconnect switch high voltage disconnect switch whatever it's called find it it's different we'll talk about that coming up next and different for each vehicle, but find it and remove it. And then the next step we mentioned before, those capacitors that are high voltage, give them 10 minutes just in case those active discharge circuits who didn't work like they're supposed to. And that gives you a little extra edge so you're not gonna be walking into uh, touching some kind of circuit, let's say a transmission removal, and those capacitors are out there and they haven't discharged. They discharge into you, it could be fatal. And then the fifth step is with the proper personal protection equipment like the gloves and some eye uh, protection, take a measurement like we use the live, dead, live procedure to make sure that whatever I'm getting ready to remove is dead. And now these sweaty, cumbersome gloves can come off and your normal mechanic gloves come on and you do your business. So those are the five steps that I follow. It's a generic rule. Look at the OEM, see if it differs. Follow the OEM over me any day.